Hi, I'm Rob Spears, and I am not a pro fisherman. Meet Jason Doyan. He is a pro. Let's take a trip inside his mind. Jay is going to show us all the top secret tips and tricks that the pros don't want you to know. We're going to visit some of the best areas in Northern Ontario to show you where and how to find more fish and bigger fish. Let's find the right hook. Right Hooks is brought to you by SO On The Run. Three locations to serve all your on the run needs. Nice little eating fish on the jigging rock. That's a nice one. Yeah, we had them. There you go, there's my first wally of the day. Pound for pound, I don't know, that's probably the hottest lure we've had so far and uh, everybody else seems to think it's just a winter treat. Welcome to this week's episode. This is a number seven jigging rapala. And today we're gonna show you a bunch of different techniques you can try with this. Jason tells me it's the right hook. Let's go find out. So we thought we'd try something a bit different today with these jigging wraps. We're doing it all right in front of the lodge. We had a little bit of luck late last night, so we thought we'd continue things off this morning. Let's see how we start off. Jay, what are we doing differently today? So we're using jigging wraps again, but the different thing is, is we're, uh, we're back trolling them. So instead of casting and retrieving them, we're actually gonna cast them pretty far behind the boat. And we're gonna keep a, a really, really shallow angle in our line, and we're gonna rip jig them as we're trolling. And it, it's just an awesome technique to cover a lot of water. Where else can you go and fish 50 yards <laughs> off the dock and catch walleye after walleye after walleye. It's just phenomenal up here. Catching fish on regular jigs and, and live bait does work, but when they're on the tops, like this shoal that comes out here to 70 feet of water, what we're doing is we're searching and we're covering water fast. We're putting our bait in front of more fish. And with this bait down there, every time it hits bottom, it makes a lot of noise. It's just calling them right in and we're getting those active fish. They're just eating it up. This is a good sized walleye who's giving me a good fight here. He's diving, he's diving. <laughs> Again, he's got that treble, right? Yep. Treble All right, just give her a little slack there in the rod tip. That's a healthy fish right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, they're really fighting hard for these little guys. I, I thought he was a bit bigger. Jay really put me on top of this one, I gotta tell you. Not, not a minute after he said let that line out, not five, ten feet later. Boom. When you're trolling these jigging wraps, you need to have the right angle of line out. You really don't want to jig it up and down. You want it horizontal in the water column. And that's uh, that's the key when you're trolling them versus actually pitching them out. Oh, look at the size of this one. <laughs> this is an absolute giant walleye. <laughs> This is like a 27, 28 inch walleye. This is an absolute beast. Is he not right under the boat or right beside it? You know what, he must have followed it in. I was about uh, two or three pulls from starting to vertical jig it underneath the boat and he just hammered it. Look at the size of that walleye. So this is a, again, number seven jig and wrap. Everybody thinks of them as ice fishing lures. If you go to any Northern Ontario store at this time of the year, they usually put them away because ice fishing is done. And I'll tell you what, that's the biggest mistake you could do. Look at the size of this walleye. Get him. <laughs> Why anybody would put these away in the summertime and think they're only for ice fishing is beyond me. Look at that, right in the tip. Look at the size of that beauty. Almost 26. Almost 26. 25 and a half. And thick again, just a... Look at the size of that fish. <laughs> Is it getting any better than this at Essanagi Lake? What a, what a way to end the day, hey, look at this. We got head guy John, <laughs> says let's go over here. I got a special spot for that jigging wrap. What a big girl. Let's get this one back. Jigging wraps are definitely one of my favorite tactics. They are just awesome baits, not just for walleye, but for whitefish and lake trout too. So check that out. Yeah, they're fantastic. You gotta take it out of your winter tackle box and put it in the summer kit. Because these lures, 365 days a year, they're the right hook.